Hi, I'm Emily, and this is my journey through the winter. My life has looked much different than what I had expected. Um, this hard season started many years ago when sickness slowly crept in. A lot of symptoms started piling up when I was in my early 20s, um, but within a few short years, they had increased to something pretty debilitating. I had intense stomach pain, unrelenting digestive problems, um, extreme fatigue, weakness, body aches, flu-like feelings, joint pain. I mean, this just skims the surface of some of the main ailments. At the age of 23, I was full steam ahead into a whole different direction than most my age. Um, one that I did not want or ask for. In fact, I really hated it. I was like, whatever this is, Lord, you can have it back. I don't want it. <laughs> okay, thanks. But despite seeing many, many doctors of all different kinds, I mean, countless diagnostics, major lifestyle changes, a wide range of intense treatment styles, I was left with a harsh new normal that not only was a mystery to me, but to everybody else, it seemed. There was so much physical pain and little to no clarity of why or how to fix it. And the longer time went on, it was like the worst things got. It, every area in my life slowly but drastically changed. And I found myself unable to do all the things that I've always known. To be active, to work, to play, to laugh, or just to be myself. And I'm working through several invasive treatment plans. Um, but there has yet to be a breakthrough. <laughs> Years and yet to be a breakthrough. Simply put, it's not only incredibly physically painful, mentally and emotionally confusing and exhausting, but spiritually heartbreaking. It's really easy for me to feel misunderstood. I mean, doctors misunderstand me, you know, like it seems like nobody really knows what's going on. Um, and then I look to Jesus and I see not only his physical suffering, but nobody else has been more misunderstood than him, you know. And that to me has almost been a greater comfort than like any physical relief that I get. Because I can, I can really feel him seeing me, you know, and fully, fully seeing me. I mean, he knows what's going on with my body. <laughs> It'd be great if he told me. But I really do feel like knowing that I am fully understood, um, that leads me to feel his safety. And then I can really walk through the winter or summer. Um, I feel so much more content. It's like when you feel safe and, and understood, it's like you have the confidence to do anything. Sure, I'll endure more winter. Like, you know, what is it? But then also I'm like, not really, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But truly, it's only by the grace of God that I have not fully given in to discouragement. I'm tempted all the time, every day. And I am both grieved and comforted by the idea that our pain really can be used for good. I'm sad because it hurts in so many ways, but I'm comforted because I see this to be true over and over again that our pain really can be used for something greater. This purpose fuels me to keep fighting because I don't want to waste my suffering. It's been entrusted to me, and even though I hate it, still, I can see God's hand in it. I look back and I see the Lord holding it all together, holding me together. <laughs> it gives me peace in the present and confident hope for the future. So it is here. It is here that I wait 
for clarity, for physical healing, and for peace in the midst of a really long, hard season. And I long for the winter's cold to melt and for the summer's sun to shine bright again. But I'm still very much in the midst of my health journey. And honestly, it would be a lot easier to tell this story maybe after my breakthrough. But the truth is, I have been promised something so much better than a breakthrough. The Lord Jesus' presence and purpose here, now, even in the winter.